Today I will be showing you my affordable jewelry collection. This is all of my jewelry in these containers as well as a few nail polishes and I also have some necklaces. I will start with this case of jewelry. So I got this jewelry box from Amazon and I will link both of the jewelry boxes in the description. So in the top drawer it is actually see-through on the top so you can see what I have. On the right I have some pins. There is an ear pin from Disneyland in California, a butterfly pin from Rifle Paper Company, and the United Nations pin from the United Nations headquarters in New York City. Over here I have another pin from Disneyland. This is the Indiana Jones pin from that ride, as well as another pin from the United Nations, and this is from their statue that they have in front of the building. It's like a non-violence piece statue. In the middle, I have rings. So the bottom two rings are rings that my mother got me for my birthdays. They are my birthstone, which is an emerald for the month of May. And the next row, I have these really beautiful crafted rings that I've had since I was a child, so I'm not really sure where those are from. Towards this one, I have a silver ring that was my mom's, so I'm not sure where that one's from either. The middle is a costume jewelry, and I believe it was from Charlotte Russe. Towards the left of that is an infinity ring that my mom recently got me. That is silver. I have two stainless steel rings above that, as well as a silver heart ring. Here I have this beautiful flower ring. This is a rose ring. Let's see. This is a beautiful rose ring. This is a gold ring as well. I have this ring, which is also my mom's. She gave me that as well. And this one, which is a costume jewelry ring. Here I just have happen to have two pairs of earrings. These are these beautiful studs that have little rivets in them. I have my class ring from high school. So Graduated from high school in 2013. It is a Mount Vernon High School class ring. And I got this stone, I believe it's a garnet. I got it to match my school colors and not my birthstone since it's an emerald. And I wanted a gold ring. And then I have knights over here on the side, which was our, oops, our mascot. And then on the inside I have my name engraved. To the left of that, I have two gold heart rings, which are beautiful. Here are some Kate Spade earrings. These are really, really nice. They're a pearl earring. These are costume jewelry as well. I'm not exactly sure where those are from. Those are some pink hearts. Then I have red flowers. I mean, pink flowers that I believe are roses. I have this earring. This is a pair from JC Penny, actually. I'm not sure where the other one is. So hopefully I can find that one soon. Next to it, I just have a single stud because I used to have my cartilage pierced. I have these two really cool typewriter key earrings that I got from a flea market in New York City. Next to that, I have these love earrings. On top, I have two studs that I just happened to be missing their pair. Here, the same thing as well, missing its pair. And then I have a silver pair of star earrings. On this side, I have additional rings. These are more statement rings. This very pretty silver ring that has some blue stones on it. This is a costume piece of jewelry as well, as is this owl ring. I have a Planet Hollywood, like, super throwback pin. This very pretty heart pin, which is great for, like, work outfits. As well as this Black Girl Magic pin that I can't wait to wear. Now to explore the next drawer in the jewelry box. This drawer is full of fun and statement. So when I went to Black Veg Fest, which is a black vegan festival, it was held in the Bronx last year in April. I purchased this from a local black owned business. These are some really beautiful cloth necklace hoops. These are really beautiful cloth earrings. 
Up here, I have these very, very pretty earrings that I got when I was in high school. There was an entrepreneurship class and they were able to go to New York City and purchase things and sell them in a little market in the school. And I got these really, really beautiful detailed pink, oh, purple earrings. These are like felt on the bottom. Over here, there was a subscription service called Jewelman. I don't know if you guys remember that one. And I got these and a subscription one time. These are about $40 and I don't wear them often. They're a bit heavy, but these are just very beautiful earrings. You guys see the butterflies here, as well as this bird here. There's a little gem. These are a great pair of earrings. Here I have just like a bangle. That's like a chrome color. And then I have these two bauble bracelets. So a dark blue and a very pretty blue that has different colors in it. Over here, I just have some statement earrings whenever I go to events like weddings, which is pretty rare. I like to wear the earrings like these. In the bottom drawer of the jewelry box, I have my more delicate pieces of jewelry that I'm excited to get into. First, I will show you my Alex and Ani collection of jewelry. The bag is a little bit dusty, but I keep them in here to preserve their quality. As you can see, I have a ton of these Alex and Ani bracelets. This is the first one. It says, because I love you, I got this for myself. And I believe I got this at Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. That's a casino. I have this beautiful one, which I was gifted for my bachelor's graduation. This is like super, like a little bit dirty, but it's just because I didn't realize how you were supposed to handle them before. I thought you could just leave them out and open with other jewelry, but you are supposed to put them in a bag. This next one is a really cute quote one. What is for you will not pass you. And I have this one. I thought this would be super cute to go when I'm stacking my bracelets. It's a very nice beaded one with tan colors. This one is one of my favorite bracelets. Look at this detail. So it doesn't, it's not a continuous hoop. You have to, it does have a gap in it but it's awesome because it definitely stays on. You can scrunch it up as well. This next one is another quotes bracelet and it says mind over matter. And then lastly, I got this when I was in Aruba and this is a sand dollar bracelet. Very, very pretty. My next bag of jewelry is from The Giving Keys. It is a pay it forward company. So you pick a word with a necklace and you embrace that word, then pay it forward to a person that you feel needs the message more than you. Basically, you after you're done with the word that your necklace has, you re-gift the necklace to someone else. When I first heard about this company on social media, I wanted to get a necklace immediately and I got myself this one, Fire. So each of the keys are unique and you'll see that in my other key, you'll get whatever key they choose. This one was given to me by a friend and it says fearless. So it's a beautiful key. It definitely contrasts the fire one and they both come on some cool chains. Here is a charm necklace. So I was gifted this for the first time when I was in sixth grade. I got the necklace as well as it's 2007 graduation cap and little diploma if you guys can see that. And then on my 16th birthday, I got another charm, the Sweet 16. At some point along the way, I got a Daddy's Little One charm. And my mom gave me the I Love You charm, which was hers from another necklace. It is super beautiful. I don't have it with my other necklaces just because the chain is broken right now. So I have to go to a jewelry store and get that one fixed. It can definitely fit some more chains. And I'm super excited to have more charms. Lastly, I have a Things Remembered bag. Don't mind these bags, you guys. They collect a lot of dust for some reason. A few years ago, I had this really cute name bracelet made for me. It was to honor a friend that I had passed away. So it says Cleve for Cleveland, and it has a little heart charm, and this is the little bracelet chain. On to this jewelry box. So I actually got this one from a different vendor on Amazon. However, they are quite similar. I got this one because I had a lot more statement jewelry pieces to display. So I'm gonna go through all of the drawers. 
in this first drawer. On the top, I have these really pretty statement earrings, which are pearls with some nice detailing around the side. And then next to that, I also have these cute, I believe they're Betsy Johnson, camel earrings. I'll zoom in so you guys can get a better look. These are the pearl earrings. They're a little bit imperfect, as you can see on that pearl. And then these are the super cute camels. The row under that, I have a ton of studs. So some of them are from Amazon and they're just cubic zirconia. Then I have a couple that are still not diamonds, but they are stainless steel or white gold. In this next row, I have these pretty purple butterflies. I've had these for quite some time, probably since I was in middle school or so, and those are very pretty. I have these, which are gifted to me. I believe these are my dad's. And these are like a flower kind of pattern. And then I have this one. This is also from when I used to have my cartilage pierced. It is a dolphin with a little stud in the middle. I have this really, really pretty lion one. It's like a lion knocker kind of, if you can see that. It's when I used to wear mix, mix match earrings. Here I just have two earrings that I lost the other one for and those are still cute. So whenever I wanna wear mix match earrings, I can do that. Here I have a stud earring. I just realized while filming this study ring, is this, this is the actual pair to this one that I showed you guys in the other one. So yes, I did not lose it. I'm so happy. I've definitely been looking for both of these and now I know where they are. One was in one jewelry box and one was in this one. So back to what I was discussing. Here I just have a really pretty pair of gold hoops. So I just link them so that they don't get lost. They're like shiny and also matte. I have those two pair of earrings that I got, or the one pair that just both earrings are together now. And these are from JCPenney. They are really beautiful gold. And they have a pearl on top and the little studs. I have this pair of hoops. This is a super thin pair of hoops. This actually came in a set of three of three different sizes, and I have two of them in my ear, in my ear now, and they're just like kind of like permanently there. I just keep these in. I have these. So these two are for my tragus piercing. It actually close the hole but I want to get it pierced again soon and the top one was for my cartilage piercing that I used to have over here I have a pair of plain gold studs as well as a couple of faux pearl studs this really cute costume jewelry as well I have a ton of costume jewelry as you guys will see and these are just another pair of little pearl with stone earrings I love the pearls I feel like it really makes it look like more classy and put together I have these really nice gold hoops with the rivets. These are some continuous gold hoops. I'll show you guys these. These are the continuous kind of gold hoops that I like to wear, as well as a pair of faux little studs that are like kind of like a cloudy kind of stone. I have these super cute candy corn earrings that I'm pretty sure I got from Claire's way back in the day. Over here, I have one of my favorite pairs of earrings. So these are actually kind of like a teardrop kind of style. This is how they look and they're just a stone earring. I have two cactus earrings down there, a couple of bows. These are super cute paper airplane earrings. These really pretty stones. I believe I got these stones from Francesca. So these are a very nice stone earring. And then I have an additional little solitary hoop down at the bottom. Now for this drawer. So on the bottom, I have these really pretty shell earrings and they have some beads on them. My mom just got these from a local little festival as well as these reindeer earrings. Her friend's mom, her co-worker's mom made those. My dad got the, me these really cute rose gold teardrop kind of earrings. I have these like chrome leaf earrings. Up here I have a flower. These are cool. These are like 3D flower earrings. That's cool. I have this costume jewelry earring, as well as this one, which is a beaded earring. I'm not sure who made this, I can't remember. Now this is a very exciting and colorful drawer. So I'll start over here on the left. I have two amazing dream catch earrings. I believe that I got these on a vacation at one point. I love just getting little cool things different places. So I have these really beautiful dream catch earrings. Then here I have a pair of costume jewelry kind of earrings. These are really pretty. They remind me of like a chandelier. So they're just like some little dangly earrings. That's how they look. And then I have a pair of gold and rose gold leaf earrings. On this side, these are earrings that my aunt just got me for my birthday, my 25th birthday, just, that just passed in May. And these are from a business that is on Facebook. I'll show you guys the business. 
and I have these super cool comb earrings. I got these at an African festival, as well as these super cute little earrings. I'm pretty sure I got these at a zoo, and these are just like little sea turtle earrings. They're kind of like a turquoise color. So these really cute patterned button earrings are from this small business that is based in North Carolina. It's called Chrissy's Gems. And this is the information if you are interested. It's by Christine Richardson. She has a Facebook and an Instagram. And this is what the earrings look like again. In this final jewelry box drawer, I kind of have like a hodgepodge of earrings. So in the middle, I have my Black Girls Rock earrings. I got these from Circle of Sisters, which is a radio station event that's hosted every year at the Jacob Shepard Center in New York. I also have these Black Girl Magic earrings. Both of these are wooden. Over here, I have my big hoops. So I'll just take the middle ones out so you guys can see. So I have these hoops. These are really, really cool. They are originally gold but as you can see they're a little bit silver now you know happens we don't get real jewelry all the time i have these solid gold hoops when i want to you know pop out on them these are some beautiful earrings that my godmother got me and then i just have these which are actually from stitch fix i believe these are just some cute little detailed little hanging earrings down here, I have two little dangling star earrings, which are some costume jewelry earrings, as well as these. I'm really not sure where these are from. These are an interesting type of earring, though, because they kind of just, like, hook onto your ear like that. I have these earrings that I got on super sale from Forever 21. I actually intended to wear these on New Year's Eve, but I completely forgot, and I was like, dude, when am I going to wear these again? So hopefully this New Year's Eve. Over here, I have these super cute Christmas earrings. I love Christmas. So I have these super cute Santa earrings, as well as these clear... These are actually clear Christmas tree earrings. My mom actually has a really cute pair that is green and red. This is a clear version. I have these Hershey Kisses earrings. I have one lonely Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer earring. These, I want to say these are from like Claire, someplace like that. But I don't know where the other one is. So I just keep these as a memory of the good old days. And then I have some earrings that I like to wear to like special events like weddings. And these little angel earrings. That are light blue with glitter. Now we have the stand full of bracelets and my watches. This is actually from Home Goods. I'll start on the bottom with these two little boxes of jewelry. To the left, I have a hollow gold heart. And then to the right, I have something super exciting that you always want when you're young a locket. So I also have a picture of my parents and myself to put in this. I've had this for a couple of years now, but I need to pick to cut the picture so that I can put it in. This is the inside of the locket. So it has a slot for a picture there in the middle. And this middle part actually has front and back and then right here as well. Such a beautiful locket. Now I will go through all of my bracelets. So I have this cute name bracelet. I'm pretty sure I got this like on a vacation or something like that. It's like a macrame on the side and it's a custom name bracelet. My name is spelled not traditionally like Christina is spelled. Um, a lot of places will always have the H in it. So I got this one made. My grandma actually made me this cute beaded one. It says, I hurt Christina. And it has just a bunch of beads and it's colorful. Here, I, this is actually a necklace chain for the necklace that you guys will see. And then this one is a really special bracelet to me. I will show you guys. This is actually for the same friend, Cleve, that passed away. So it is one of these memorial bracelets and it is rubber and has a pit bull there. It says a memory of CB2730, which was his nickname, as well as a dirt bike, another dirt bike. And then when he was born and when he passed away, as well as another pit bull. Next to that, I have this African American Heritage Celebration bracelet I got one time, as well as this Cure Violence bracelet. So when I went to school at U Albany, um, in one of my criminal justice classes, we had View from Queer Violence come and speak to us. And basically, they are a community organization that tries to, you know, stop violence. They're people who used to be involved in violence and some illegal activities in the past, and they have wanted to help their community out. I have this America East bracelet, which is the conference that our women's basketball team was in at U Albany. I was actually a manager for the team for one year, and it says hashtag she rules. That was just like a little campaign they were doing that year. I also have this bracelet. This was super popular when I was in high school. Keep a breast bracelet, the I Heart Boobies bracelet. So I have this really cute white and pink one. 
Next, I have this. Now, this is a super kind of like fragile-ish, but this is a dream catcher bracelet. I got these, they have like these in like a lot of little, little festivals that you go to. I have this really pretty one. I love like earth tones. I have a shell one, multiple blue pattern one. This is like those friendship bracelets. I have this white and purple. And this very pretty one. I believe they got this one from my friend when she went to Honduras. I got this one from elementary school, I believe. This is just a cuff. It reminds me of like a castle. So it looks like this, it's just a cuff. It's a chrome kind of rustic material. And this blue stone reminds me of a castle. I also have this Dreamcatcher bracelet. I never wear these, I really should not buy these anymore. Here I have my two watches. I'm not really big on telling time on my watches, so actually both of them have died. But I have this Michael Kors one that my godmother got me. And I have this really cute Kate Spade one that I believe I got for maybe my 18th birthday. So it's a little rustic looking now, but I actually like it. I mean, sometimes I, I wish I could change the band, I probably could. But I actually like it. So I put this one to five o'clock and this one is on six o'clock since the batteries have died. Next, I have just this little bracelet that I actually made myself with some beads and a little string. Kind of hinders my skin sometimes, but it's still a cute little pattern. Here, this is actually a custom jewelry necklace, and it is actually a faux pearl necklace. I believe I got it from H&M. Now, up top, I have a ton of stuff. So, this is a thick chain necklace. I'm not sure where I've gotten this from, but I believe it might be real. I'm not sure if I got it from a thrift store or something like that, but it is a nice thick chain necklace. I then have a shell necklace. This is that I've had when I was a child, this little blue beaded necklace. This one reminds me of like a globe kind of necklace. I mean, these are, these are bracelets, guys, sorry. This one and this one is a bracelet. This one actually matches a pair of earrings you guys saw. So it is a nice continuous bracelet. I believe my cousin's cousin actually made these and sells those and my aunt got them for me. I have this, another pretty blue bracelet. These were also sold at that entrepreneur fair that I went to when I was in high school. So these are two separate bracelets. They actually came with a chain so that they don't disconnect. So this is one and the other one is the green one. Well, the chain broke onto the green one, but over here, we have this is like an African kind of style bracelet. I have this maroon beaded bracelet, two brown, a dark one, and a little bit of a lighter brown braided kind of chain bracelet. This is an also another tribute to my friend Cleve. So here I have just some super like cheap little chain with like little stones you guys can see here, bracelets. This bracelet, it's kind of like a tennis bracelet dupe. This is actually a Supreme Court bracelet. I'll take this guy out so you guys can see it. When I was in college, I spent a semester in Washington, D.C. and I went to the Supreme Court and I got this bracelet. So it just has a bunch of little D.C. slash Supreme Court monuments. It's like a little charm bracelet. Next, I have this bracelet that I was gifted by a friend from grad school. So she believed she could, so she did. I have this one that I got on a cruise. It's just from Diamond Internationals. It's a little like faux charm bracelet. It's not the best quality. This one that my aunt recently got me, it's a little cuff and I'll show you guys what it says on the inside. It's so cute. So it says, whenever you're, you feel overwhelmed, remember whose niece you are and straighten your crown. And it has this little pattern detailing. If you guys can see that on the outside. I have this very small beaded neck, beaded bracelet that I've had for years and years, right there. I have so many bracelets for you guys, so it's super crowded. I have this one that says Speak Out, this one that my godmother got me. This is really nice. This is a rose gold one. It's like a bangle kind of thing that's like not continuous. This one I've had for years and years, something that I just keep for memory's sake. This one, I think I got this when I was a Girl Scout. Actually, I'm not really sure. I know you guys can hear things falling. So this one has a tree and it says, life is short, forgive quickly, kiss slowly, tr love truly. This one, which is a cute little dressy kind of one. I've worn these kinds of inklets before. This is a four leaf clover. My mom's, a lot of my mom knows make jewelry. So this is one of those items.
These are a couple others that I typically would wear as anklets. Sometimes they pinch my ankle hairs, but these are some cute ones. Lastly, I have this heart brace that my mom got me as well. Oh, I can't forget the Christmas cheer. I love Christmas, so I have I've done a little Christmas thingies. And this is just a cute little bracelet of little bells. And it's silver. Now, last but not least, I have my necklaces. So I have them stored right here on this little bulletin board mini thingy. And over here, I have a Taurus necklace. This is like almost a choker, so I don't usually wear it as much. I have two wishbone necklaces. So the longer one is from fancy.com. In the middle, I have a C necklace. This is a super cute one. This is from Forever 21. I'll get into depth with this next to it. And then this one is a silver one that is just a really pretty heart. Nice and simple. I like to wear this one to work. This silver one is one that my mom just got me for my birthday that just passed last month. And it says, always and forever, on one side, Christina, May 7th, my birthday, and Mommy loves you. So these are from Amazon, I believe. You can customize them. She's definitely got these for a few people, like my grandma and some of my aunts and some people she knows at work. So this is a really great little customizable gift.